here in the garage we are just below 10 celsius outside must be around 5 right now last night went down to minus 6 celsius and uh, inside the low tunnel where uh, you know i have the seedlings it was um, about uh, eight so kind of low for melon eggplant those kind of things but i think you really don't have to worry until you go to the below five like five celsius and below and then freezing obviously is not good so i check the plants out there quickly they're all fine inside here i have few um some they are leftovers from transplanting already some they are flowers that i didn't have space so they are just growing here in the garage for now and i had to bring in my potted fruit trees but at this time of the year when some trees decide to bloom even if they are inside like this beautiful apricot a beautiful sight to come in the garage and see all this blooming tree what i have to do is to do the job that bees are not doing right now so i have to hand pollinate all of these flowers so i'm gonna show you what i do i'm no expert but it doesn't really i think require um, a really big expertise so basically you have the pollen that is released by these little um, yellow things right here I don't know the technical terms anyway you can look them up stigma and other stuff but you basically want to move it a bit on your brush so you collect pollen on the brush and then bring it to the I think it's the stigma is the larger one that usually it's from the center like this one right here and uh, when you have certain fruit they are uh, self-fertile that's what they're called so like apricots and peaches you can take the flower from the pollen from a flower from the same trees when you have self-infertile trees like apples and pears you have to collect the pollen from a different variety and bring it in so it's kind of more complicated but usually apples and pears you have them out when the flower and the bees take care of it peaches and apricot in this climate if you overwinter them inside they might wake up a bit too early to leave them out because if you leave them out at this time of the year all this flower would be uh, gone by this morning with that hard frost we got you see right here we have the peach also in full bloom it's beautiful look and i'm just have to go around same brush doesn't really i don't think i could get a cross between apricot and peach you never know if i get it it's something cool but so i brush a bit and touch and then after a while you do your your brush is gonna be so full of pollen you just touch it once or twice you just do something very delicate you don't want to ruin the flower and let's see if you can see here that longer one in the middle that's the one that you have to bring the pollen to so you collect it from the side ones and then you touch the middle one that middle one is gonna the one that gives the input to then start the fruit i'm gonna show you on another fruit tree that is flowering right now it's my mont royal plum and it's easier to see the difference let's see if i can show you there you go so you can see even a different color let me point it in. so you got the pollen from these ones you collect the pollen and you bring it you see this middle one that is kind of green compared to the white stems of the other and that's where you want to bring the pollen to uh, on this tree i have two flowers open right now another one another bunch almost opening and so i got a couple more here a couple more there the plums i got two varieties because you need cross pollination but they are they call them sem semi-fertile so you might still get a crop with just one tree 
that's why I still try to pollinate because I don't have the pollen from this tree that is the other variety to, to bring. So right now I'm just touching with the same pollen and hopefully I'll get something. I have also here what's called a Saskatoon berry that look at the, you see the small buds, those are all flowers. This is going to be all bunches of beautiful berries. So this is also going to give me a nice crop this year and these two that are called chums that they are crossed between a cherry and a plum and one is this one right here and look same thing let me see if i can get here i this is the first year that they are uh, flowering but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get a bunch because if you can see uh, let me see what a point there you see those small round ones those should be flowers and this one they are self infertile so luckily i don't have to pollinate it because it would be a good a big job to bring the pollen from this plant to the other variety that is that one down there that is also ready to flower you can see the small flower buds uh, my hope is that by next week uh, uh, seeing that the forecast they say this should go back to uh, above freezing mark uh, night temperatures uh, by wednesday and then all up from there so by wednesday my hope is to bring these two trees back out and uh, have the bees or whatever other insect do a job for me the trees would survive freezing temperatures. that's not the problem i could have left them out my worry is that the flower buds uh, for sure when they're open but more maybe even when they are at this stage they are really delicate and maybe a, a hard freeze like we had last night would uh, make me lose the crop so that's why i brought it back in the heads and nut it's a completely different thing the heads and nut you're gonna have the cat skills that are those long you know cylinder looking things those ones have the pollen and it has to go on little little red buds that obviously i don't have them here they're too young but uh maybe one day i'm gonna show you my outside eyes and that uh, and that is like done even by wind because they are they release so much pollen when they win and they just get pollinated anyway i just want to show you what i'm doing right now there's always jobs even if outside is too cold there's always stuff to do and uh, honestly it's actually nice to have some greenery going on even inside in the garage and looking all the flowers sadly this one doesn't really have an, an aroma i scent the peach is a more faint but you do have a nice um uh, smell coming from them if you go very close anyway thanks for watching and take care